How's it going, everyone? Zabby here. We're back with Baltimore Orioles, Edo Park Baseball 20, be a GM mode, whatever you want to call it. Just want to let you guys know I got links down below to my Twitch. I've been streaming MLB The Show and Edo Park Baseball on there. I'm going to be doing streams Thursday to Saturday. I got a schedule all on there and everything. So if you guys are interested in that kind of thing, be sure to check that out. But let's jump right into this. We're going to do the draft. We're going to go up to the trade deadline in this one. And we're going to see if we can try and turn this team around here. In the last video, I did look at some of the stats for our, our players, especially the ones that we brought in, and they're not doing so hot. Uh, Franco's negative war, Semien's negative war, Flores is negative war, Santander is a bench bat, but he's also negative. Um, other than that, the team's doing okay. Austin Hayes has been pretty solid and left for us. He's got he's a good bat. Uh, Brett Cumberland's actually been a pretty solid catcher for us as well. He playing more than Cisco. No, he's not playing more than Cisco. He's just been good, though, as a backup. So that's good. He's at least a backup catcher for us. So that, that that's fine. But yeah, other than that, um, it's still pretty early. I'm going to give um, Flores and Semyon and Franco a little bit more of a shot. But if they don't turn it around, then we'll just call up some prospects and whatever, right? All right, so let's um, we'll go to schedule. See, we got a series versus Oakland. So we're just going to go day by day here. I figure that's probably the best way to do this now that I actually want to pay attention to the wins. Yusniel Diaz will be out for four weeks. Damn it. That is not good. Where is he? We don't have a right fielder. He's been doing good for us too, man. That's um that's a pretty tough injury. I don't know if I'm really too happy about that. Um, who should we call up to play? I guess it's just gonna play Santander there. We will need Maybe I should just bring up Martin. He's doing well. Let's just bring him up. It's going to replace Semyon. I think that's okay for now, though. Semyon's not doing well anyways. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to lead him off. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Let's do that. Go back to schedule. See what happens. We got, we got a win versus Oakland. We lost a series 2-1. to one. Not a big deal. Take an L to KC. Wow, that's a big win. Let's see who did. Um, did Wilmer Flores went three for three. Hey, there you go. Well, he's finally having a big game. Finish today, and we take a big loss. We got a series versus the Rays now. Not going too hot. We're thirteen and twenty-seven, so we're looking at another high pick here. I think for next year, unless we can turn it around. Dallas Keuchel was diagnosed with a herniated disc. He will be out eight weeks well that's not good place him on the 60 day and we got to call up a pitcher we'll call up this 25 year old we'll go back to schedule Matheny will change our rotation and all that automatically so we don't have to worry about fixing that as long as we call up the guy he'll uh he'll rearrange everything for us we're at 15 and 28 let's take a quick look at the standings here so we're in last. We're 14 games back. We're only two wins back of the Jays. So, I mean, it could be worse. Do we have the least amount of wins? Actually, the Marlins have less wins. The Cards have less wins. And yeah, that's it. Only two teams have less wins than us. We're going to turn it around, though. I promise. Might not be this year. Next year is going to be a big year. Regardless, next year is going to be a huge year. We lose to the Red Sox 4 to, or 9-4, to four, and then we lose 10-1. to one. Let's hope we don't get swept. We got swept anyways. Cole Hamill suspended. Six games. What the hell did he do? Oh, he fought. The Red Sox, Brandon Crawford, and Orioles Cole Hamels will have to sit out three and six games respectively. <laughs> All right. So uh, do I have to move him? I think he's, does he just stay there? What do I do with him? Does he just stay on the roster? I don't remember. I guess he just stays on the roster. That's fine. Go back to schedule. We got swept by the Red Sox. Let's get some wins versus Chicago here. They're not a very... This is not going well. This is not going well. Anthony Santander will be out six to seven months. All right. I mean, he's not very good, but he was replacing... Diaz right now because Diaz was hurt. Let's see what that leaves us with quickly. So it's going to play... Who's just going to play in right? It's going to play Austin Hayes in right. 
And then the left is going to play Dwight Smith Jr. Which is fine. I got to call somebody up, though. Should I just call up Beard? I mean, he's got some power, at least. Maybe I'll just call up this guy. I don't think it really matters. To be honest, I don't. the season's already not going the way I wanted it to. But we'll go up to the... Oh my god, Bedrosian's out five weeks. We're getting a lot of injuries. Bring up this reliever. We'll go to the end of this month here, and actually we'll go into the next month. Just after this save, I just don't want to lose any progress, so I have it on autosave every month. Kramer got Rookie of the Month. Uh, our reliever. How good has he been? He hasn't even been that good, but I guess maybe he just had a really bad first month or something. Using El Diaz is still out. That's unfortunate. And Bedrosian, yeah, we just we already saw that. Let's check out the player development. Zach Pop, he actually got pretty good. Kramer also grew. Hamels got worse, not surprising. Uh, didn't mean to scroll that fast. Francisco got a little bit better. Marcus Semyon got a little bit better. Brian McKenna actually got better as well. And Tanner. Is there anyone else? Let's check out Ma uh, Mount Castle. Mount Castle's looking good. I might have to call him up. Brendan McKay's looking good too. So we got two first basemen that are not too bad. Can Mount Castle play anything else? Maybe I'll train him at third. You got the arm? I don't know. This might be bad. I'll leave him at first for now. That guy's not looking too bad. Let's see if... um. Where's Bobby Witt? Did Bo Bobby Witt didn't change at all? Alright, that's fine. We'll continue on. Alex Cobb is eligible to come off the IL. I don't want I don't want him to. We'll just send him down for a rehab assignment. Keep him off the roster as long as we can. And we'll send him a few days and then I'm gonna I'm gonna make some changes if we keep losing. Because I just I can't I can't deal with this again. Okay, we got three big wins there. We're out of the draft now. So hopefully we can continue that. We pretty much just got to pick best player that we can find. So these are the top 10 prospects list for the draft. Uh, Liam Norris, Mason Wynn. Hey, those guys don't look too good. Let's just go right into the draft. First year player draft. We got the number one overall pick. We knew that. So we got to hit on this one too, guys. If we don't hit on this, it's going to be very, very bad. Now, I think... Okay. We got to go catcher here. One of these catchers. Let's take a look at, let's take a look at all of them. We'll look at Joe here. Um, He doesn't have the greatest arm. He's not very fast. He does look okay though. Got a decent bat. Golston Gillespie. Okay, that's um a wild name. Um, OSA doesn't really like him too much. He can play other positions. Our scout loves him. What about Brady Smith? This guy is probably the best all-around catcher, even just from a quick look here. Um, he's got decent arm. Go back to the other guys, too. Just to double check. And he's got a decent arm, too, so it's not really that much different. They're all 21 as well, so they're all the same age. What about this guy? I just want to take a look. He's got some crazy batting stats. I don't think he'll get that good. And we don't really, like, we, we could use a second baseman, and we could, like, we, we could still pick a shortstop. Like, this guy looks pretty unreal, but he doesn't want to sign. Um, we'll just take a look at this catcher, just in case. I mean, he looks all right, too. Actually, OSA likes him a lot. And he's only 18. Hmm. He doesn't have a lot of power, though. I think I will go with Brady Smith. I, wanna, I want the catcher. 
because we have we have Lourdes at second and he's not like amazing but he's pretty solid so I think we got to go with the catcher here Brady Smith looks pretty good man I think this might be the one I want and he's from Niceville Florida <laughs> and, uh, is that a real place I don't know if that's a real place let's check out his Twitter oh we can't I, I keep forgetting that you can't actually check the Twitter in game All right, so let's look at his scouting here. I mean, 21-year-old catcher who's born in Niceville, Florida. His power potential grades out as plus. He projects to be an above average contact hitter. He may not be an elite defensive catcher, but he's still, he projects to be an elite big league catcher. I think this is the guy we got to go we got to go with here. I think we're going to go with Brady Smith. That's the decision we're making. We're bringing him in. Another number one overall pick. We're going to draft him. We're going to skip ahead. Oh, man, this guy's still there. I wonder if I should get him just to see if I can sign him. Oh, OSA hates him. Holy crap. My scout loves him. And maybe we'll take a look at some of these second basemen. Maybe a left fielder. We're going to try and grab some position players. I'm not going to go with pitchers just yet. I want to see. Don't really need a first baseman. I don't like drafting by need like that, but I mean, sometimes you have to. All right, let's just go with this guy. Um, where is he? Oh, did I just skipped the pick by accident. What did I just do? I think I did. No? Am I crazy? Oh, I guess I didn't skip ahead. I don't know what I just did right there. Anyways, uh, this is another catcher we could look at. Um, that guy looks okay. He's um very, very fast. Peter Crow Armstrong. Let's grab this guy. He looks pretty good. OSA likes him better than our scout does, but we'll take him. Oops, didn't mean to create a note on him. We'll draft him. How many picks do we have in a row? Jesus. A lot more than I thought. Well, let's grab this guy, too. He's a great defender, center fielder. He's only 18. He wants to sign as well. Right now, let's um let's look for some maybe a starter here. There's a good starter. Then we'll go with him. That guy looks pretty good. He's got good pitches. What about this guy? I think we're gonna go with this guy. I don't even want to make another decision. Wait, was it Lucas Gordon? It was Lucas Gordon, right? Oh no, it wasn't because he was impossible. That sucks. We'll go between these two. Um, I want to look at ratings. I mean, he's got a decent fastball. I think we'll go with... Um... Oops, why did it... Oh, it's because I swapped off of... Yeah. I see what I did there. He's still impossible. We're going to draft this guy. I don't even care. We can sign him. Could be a steal. Use some pitchers. Let's go starters. We're just going to sort by starters. If there's anyone even worth taking. Let's check out these 19-year-olds. He looks all right. Let's draft him. We're just going to blow through the draft, honestly. After it gets to this point, it's not really... Um, You're just kind of... You're just kind of taking a... It's lottery tickets at this point, right? So... I'm just going to draft a bunch of position players. Probably won't even sign most of these guys, to be honest with you. Unless they do happen to just be okay. We're just going to auto-draft the rest of the draft. There's going to be a ton of relievers, but I don't want to go through all these rounds. We don't need to. The main picks are our first few, and we uh, hopefully got a hell of a catcher. 
if we got a catcher, if that catcher that we took turns out to be anything, Brady Smith, he's got potential. Definitely got potential. If we nail both these first round picks, we've arguably set ourselves up at shortstop and catcher for the next decade, which is exactly what we want. We're just going to meet the demand. Now, Peter Crow Armstrong is impossible. Bradfield is bad. This guy's great. Okay, we got to try and sign him. But he wants... I'm going to give him... Let's see if 1.5. Is that 1.5? I think that's 1. The owner does not approve. Oh, that's 15 mil. That's why. All right, so he's going to get as much as the first overall pick. If he doesn't take this, then whatever. But this guy has a chance to be a steal for us if we can get him. Hopefully he signs. Um, we're going to let... We're not even going to bother signing Crow Armstrong. And I don't think we're even going to bother signing um, Bradfield. Oh, OSA likes him. Maybe I will sign him. Extremely hard. We'll meet his demand. Let's just double check Jake Barry. OSA really likes him. They they actually have his change up as a future 80, which if he gets that, that could be very usable. So we actually will sign him. Let's just check out this Jackson Coots guy, the guy we didn't draft. Um, our scout likes him. I guess we need to keep replenishing the system anyways. You never know when one of these guys is going to turn out, but I don't think uh, Crow Armstrong's really... Oh, I don't know. I mean, I'll give him an offer. Give him 1.2. We'll see. Hopefully that works. We'll get back. We'll get back to here, though. We'll check out those last um, last few games. So we beat the Nats 2-1 uh, to one in the series, and then we got a big win versus the Yankees. We'll finish today, and we'll go until we get um, get emails about our players, our draft picks. So let's just quickly delete all that. Go to schedule. Wow, we got another win versus the Yankees. Still not satisfied. So we're going to get a compensation pick for Pete Crow Armstrong. That's fine. He looks okay, but well, it's not a big deal as long as we get a compensation pick. All right, let's go back to the schedule. We're going to sim ahead. Houston Neal Diaz is back. Thank Christ. We really needed him back. We're going to send someone down. You know what? I might just wave Marcus Semien. We're just going to wave him. He's been horrible. We'll bring up uh, Houston Neal Diaz. He should just get fit right back into right field. No? Okay, well, I can't have that. Is that only versus righties? Is that why? No, he's just playing... Just playing Dwight Smith Jr. over him. Means I'm going to have to trade him. I'm going to try and trade him, just for a prospect, because I don't want Matheny to play over him. And I'm the boss here. Matheny's not the boss. I'm the boss. We're going to do this quick. Hopefully we get an offer. If not, I'll wave him. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. I'm, I don't have control over the lineup, so I got to not let him do whatever he wants. Um, Let's just grab this uh, pitcher. Maybe this catcher. Eh, let's grab this pitcher. Can never have enough pitching. So we'll do that. All right, let's get up to the deadline. So just keep an eye up here. On the top, it will show you the scores. So yeah, uh, Semyon got claimed. Jackson Coots was convinced. He was uh, a lower overall guy. Uh, actually, we'll go to International FA first, and then we'll go to deadline. Minnesota claimed Marcus Semyon. That's fine. He was not very good for us. He was cheap, though. Worth, um, worth a spot just to try. You never know. Oh, the shortstop wasn't satisfied. Damn it. That sucks. I was hoping we were going to get him. Would have been a steal, I think. I think he's going to turn out pretty good. Great proposal from Kansas City. Connor Green. Um, 
we're okay. We're okay, Kansas. We're sitting at 21 and 46. We've gone on a little bit of a losing streak here. We'll go up to International FA. We lost, or we won 3 1. We lost to the Marlins there at the end. Austin Hayes is going to take two weeks to recover. We'll place him quickly on the 10 day IL. Now we do need an outfielder now. Of course, I wish I could have kept um, White Smith Jr. just for that, but I think it's time to bring up Mountain Castle. He's looking good. Let's, um, you know what, let's bring up Beer as well. Might as well get the youth movement going, right? Let's see what it does here. Gonna play Mountain Castle's DH, which I'm fine with. And DJ Stewart is still there. So who's it playing? It's playing Seth Beer and left, which is fine. Hopefully he can do something. He's got a good bat. He's got a pretty solid bat. Like, it's okay. I mean, I guess it's not really that great now, but... The season's already over. We're already way too far behind to catch up. Michael's treatment not going well. Five weeks. And we're getting quite a few injuries here. Go up to International FA. We're already at 21 minutes in this video, so I gotta speed it up a little bit. Richie Martin is the... Of course. So I get rid of... I get rid of, um... Marcus Semien, and now Richie Martin's fucking hurt. All right, who can play short for us now that we got rid of Semien? Not Hunter Harvey. Hunter Harvey's looking pretty solid there. This guy plays short? Can't play short either. I'm just going to call up Ryland Bannon. He would, uh, see what Matheny does. He's going to put it short. He's going to put Lourdes at short, actually. That's fine. We'll play the Lord of Zed short until Richie Martin comes back. Facing the Nats. Oh, it paused on us. How long is he out? Six weeks? Yeah. I'm not trading McMahon back to you. Sorry. Not happening, Colorado. All right, let's keep moving. We gotta keep this moving. We wanna actually get to the deadline in this video, which I plan on doing. And then I want you guys to comment down below. Let me know who you think we should trade away, someone we should get, a prospect, whatever. But I need, I definitely need some help turning this team around, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need you guys to help me out with this one. Alex Cobb is back. Uh, injured list. He actually take the demotion. I don't know if he will. Maybe he'll get claimed. I doubt it. International free agent period. Let's just go through here. Oh, that guy looks pretty good. See if there's any really, really good guys here. And potentially just. Is it the center fielder? Which one was it? This starter. Um, they don't like his slide. His slider and changeup are actually really bad. I mean. Let's let's try and sign him. Why why not, right? I mean we can pretty much use all the help we can get. If we can get him, whatever. If not, not a big deal. I don't really mind. Great proposal from the Diamondbacks. Uh we're okay. Wait. Oh, okay. Team schedule. So let's go right up to the deadline. We're thirty and fifty one. And then I'm going to stop at the deadline and we're going to take a look at all the stats. Midseason gold. The team's performance is underwhelming. When I said I want to see where I expect more progress, I'll give you credit when I asked you. Alex Cagnell's nice, nice addition. Yada, yada, yada. So he's okay. I mean, the season didn't go as much as, like, as well as we wanted it to. I wanted a little bit more progress than this. But there's not much you can do. I could have went crazy, spent money, but that, that's not what I want to do. I want to, I want to build this slowly. All right, so Austin Hayes is back. We're gonna send Balin or Bannon back down to triple. And now we can drop a reliever as well. So it actually moved Cole Hamels to a reliever. So I'm gonna just wave Cole Hamels. We're gonna bring Bedrosian back. Not even gonna do um
I think I'll just let the Dodgers get him. That's fine. All right. Go up to the deadline. Get through this month. And then we'll check out the stats of all of our players. Just keep an eye on the record up there. Uh, deadline. It's going to go by really quick. It's going to stop us a lot. So Dominic Smith. That guy's actually not bad. But Brett Cumberland, is he still performing all right? He's still performing pretty great for a backup catcher, so I'm just going to, I'm not going to get rid of him. No point in doing that. Player designated for Simon, whose DFA time runs out. Let's see if it's going to let me send down. I hate how they can just refuse to be demoted. Both of them don't want to be demoted. I mean, that's fine, I guess. We'll just... We'll just drop um, two relievers. This guy's actually looking pretty good, Cody Carroll. I mean, got a 70 RA, so maybe he looks good. He's not performing well. So unfortunately, we're bringing back Alex Cobb. I don't mind Hamels being on the team. I didn't want to bring back Cobb at all. Go up to the deadline. Sitting at 31 and 56. San Diego Padres. That guy's not bad. I don't want to give up Tanner Scott, though. Dude, he is a .67 ERA. 27 innings pitched, and he's only given up two earned runs. What a fucking beast. What an absolute beast. All right, we got to get up to the deadline. This is going to be a long video. We're already at 26, and we still have quite a few, or quite a, quite a bit left to go. Uh, we don't need to do that trade. That trade doesn't make any sense for us. Wilmer Flores is going to take two weeks to come back. That's fine. We got Mount Castle. We'll just keep going up to the deadline. Injury diagnosis. Zach Lowe is only going to be out for three days. Trade proposal from the Jays. Shoemaker. We don't need Shoemaker. We're on July 12th. We got to get up to the 30th or 31st. Not going to trade Cumberland. We're sitting at 33 and 59. It's not going well. Not going to trade Tanner Scott. We'll just stop asking. So it's looking like we might get another high pick. It might be, we might not get first overall. I think eh, we might still get first overall. Actually, now that I'm looking at it, we're actually worse than the Nats. And yeah, this, so we might get another first overall pick. Which is um, kind of crazy when you think about it. Three first overall picks in a row. But we're going to improve next year. A lot. I'm spending some money this offseason, that's for sure. I wouldn't mind scope, but... Does that really, like, does that really help us that much? Ramirez dominates in 13-7 win. Wilmer Flores recovery unclear now. I thought he was back already. All right, we only got a few more days till the deadline, and then I'm going to go through the stats. And then I'm definitely going to need your guys' help on who we should trade away. I don't I don't know why it's giving me those, because um, I'm a rebuilding team. Maybe, maybe I forgot to set something. I don't know. Maybe I left a need or something on. Arwen Gonzalez retaining 45%. I mean, this wouldn't be a bad trade if we were competing. But... There's no way we're going to make the playoffs, so I don't need to do any of that. Hit streak now at 20 for Rosario. So a prospect for us at 20 hit streak in a minor league. Edwin Rios. I'm, I'm not trading Tanner Scott. <laughs> Leave me alone. All right. So we're on the 25th. We're going to get stopped every day with a trade proposal now. And it's just, I, yeah, no. Keep going. Keep it going. Up to the 28th now. We're pretty much getting offered the same players over and over again. Yeah, all right. Stop offering me trades. I don't want to make these trades anyways. I'm just going to... You want to trade again? All right. Here's my attempt to trade you.
All right, let's just see if, they, if anyone will offer anything for Alex Cobb. And if it's Chris Davis, I'm obviously not going to take it, but maybe we can get someone useful that can actually help out the team. Yeah, see, nobody wants you, Alex Cobb. I don't want you, and nobody else wants you. Sorry. The way it goes. Okay, two more days left. Go up to the trade deadline, and I'll do a quick run through through the stats. Got a bunch of trade offers here. Tyrone's not bad, but he makes a little bit too much money. Tyler Wagner. Chi Chi Gonzalez. Yeah, we don't need to do any of this. All right. One more day to the deadline. See what we got on these final offers if we get anyone half decent here. Don't need Matt Shoemaker. Not going to trade Hunter Harvey. All right, we're at the deadline. Let's take a quick look at these stats. Remember, I want you guys to comment down below. Let me know who uh, we should trade away. But we'll go, we'll go pitchers first. So we'll sort by ERA. So play buttholes. 6.7 ERA. Terrible. He's going to go. Uh, Zach Lowther, we're going to keep around. Uh, Lucheski, we're going to keep around. These guys are decently young. Uh, Cole Hamels can go. Bedrosian. Bedrosian's actually been all right for us. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. I'll, I can't dump Cobb, but definitely Clay Buttholes, Cole Hamels, maybe Bedrosian. Any of the older guys we can get rid of. Uh, so far, War too. And um, if you guys need to check the stats, just pause the video. You should be able to see all the stats. Um, Zach Pop has been doing good for us, man. Same with Ian Hamilton. So we got a few um, few good relievers. Our relievers are young and they're they're set, which is pretty easy to do in this game is to get good relievers. So we'll swap to batters. Let's sort by war first. So man, Lourdes has been pretty good this year. Again, he's got 18 dingers, batting 284 with a 308 on base. Not bad, not bad. He's got 2.4 war. Let's just check out his fielding real quick. So he's been okay. He's been pretty good, actually. And he's been playing short for a little bit because um, Martin's been injured. Oh, and Diaz is hurt again. So Mikel Franco's got to go as well. He's been horrible at third. Not even an upgrade, honestly. Probably even a downgrade on what we had last year. Um, so we're going to have to do that. And then I'm going to just get rid of Wilmer Flores too. So all the guys we signed in the offseason did not pan out. But that's fine. I just wanted to fill some spots. And they were all cheap. So at least I didn't like, sign some stupid contract. They were only one year's. Which is not a big deal. And then one more thing I wanted to look or show you guys quick before we finish this video. We're going to go to all players. And we're going to sort by years left. So these are the guys that need extensions. All these are auto, which is fine. We're just going to let that happen. Um, Castro could be someone we have to pay. Legitimately have to pay. Bedrosian has to go to Arb. Uh, and we're going to get rid of Flores, Hamels, and Clay Buttholes. But yeah, so we don't actually have that much left to do. We just got to finish off the season. I'll quickly show you the stats or the standings here. Um, we're sitting at 36 and 68. So looking like another first overall pick, but there's quite a few teams around the, the like the 40-ish win mark. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I should be coming out with the next one in a day or so. And we're gonna get we're gonna finish the season in the next one, I think. And we're gonna we're gonna try and speed this rebuild up a little bit. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to comment down below. Let me know who you guys want me to trade away. If you guys want me to target someone, I can do that too. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I'll see you in the next one. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Make sure to check out the description, the links to my social media platforms and Discord where you can come hang out. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you never miss a video. And also comment down below and I'll try to respond as best as I can. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.